Before we uh, go any further, I'm gonna show you what it is that we are going to do today. And that is really something. Look at this. Didn't that look quite a lot like a sampler? It does, doesn't it? It looks a lot like a sampler. And in fact, it is. It is a sampler. It is the... Uh, well, it's not a sampler, but I'm using it as a sampler. And so can you. It is called Citala. And there's a... Um, uh, drum playing plugin and you can get it from here um, whoopski from the something called decomposer sitala you see here yeah, I can put in this link in the description uh, and um, yeah well that's it so have a nice day and uh, no it's actually not 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 it uh, there's a little bit more to it, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> it's pretty convoluted uh, to, uh, to to get uh, into elements, um, but it's possible. Um, the thing is that Citala is a standalone and also a plugin, but as plugin, it's quite strange really um, and it has to be done um, a lot of stuff in order to use it as a plugin well first you download it um, I know it th th that that link was for 64 uh, bits and I'm not sure it exists for 32 bits I'm sorry uh, but you download it and you um, uh, install it and after you have installed it um, you'll get uh, a folder with uh, the, the actual um, plugin and you will get a folder with um, uh, what they called banks we could call them if we take a look at Citala as it is here we should be able to go here and say and see now I can't do that, and that is uh, it's up here. Now I have to get it from here. See, here's Citala, and um, when you 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 put it in, the 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 the, the problem starts to emerge um, because you can you can open the folder where you have. Uh, uh, install Citala in and you'll find a file there called Citala X. And if you double click that, you'll get this guy. This guy here. It is a standalone. You can use it as a standalone. You can use it as a standalone. And it's also a plugin, but it's difficult to use as a plugin, at least in elements. Let's take this guy aside. When we usually uh, load a plugin in um, elements, we're using this guy here, right? The green folder. Well, that you can't. If you try to do that and you browse to the Citala uh, DLL and try to load that, nothing happens. I don't know why. But what you have to do is actually to go out here in my computer and browse from this window here, this here, my computer window. You have to browse to the folder where you have um, installed Citala in, and there you have to grab the DLL and drag it into 
uh, song editor and drop it there. Uh, then, after a little while, the sky opens inside elements. But then again, we have new problems because these here, they're slots and there's 16 of them. So this is a 16 slot uh, sampler. Oh, you can use it as a sampler. Not a resampler, I have to, to stress that. This is not only because we have really been looking for a sampler, um, but it's not a resampler. You cannot stretch uh, one sample over these um, uh, tablets. You'll have to go into Audacity and uh, create each one um, by its own, and then you can load them into each of these tablets. 16 of them, so two octaves. Um, but you run into some very odd problems when you try to do that. The first odd problem is that when I go into my samples here, you can see so there it is, right? And we'll just take, yeah, this is an element, uh, element sample, and here's a uh, waves name. <coughs> That's probably what we should do, right? It's it's uh, it's normal that uh, uh, elements would use. Sorry, uh, that a uh, BST would use um, these um, uh, wave files, right? Now, oh, Sitala got away from me. If it does, you have to find it in your tray and bring it up again, and. Um, as you can see here inside um, elements, when I mm, grab that guy, it disappears. So what to do? Um, the thing is that uh, I can't open. <laughs> new um, I can't make this guy here uh, stay on top because that is not an element why is it not an element because it can't be if I create a um, an elements um, what we call it bay uh, to um, to this I can't use the menus then the menus are just uh, flashing away like maniacs. So you'll have to go into your edit, and you have to go into your settings, and you'll have to choose this here in your settings, plug-in embedding, no embedding. That's, that's necessary to be able to use Citara in elements. It cannot be embedded. And when it's not embedded, you can't get access to it. So what do we do? Well, we are saved by the bearer because Citala was a standalone plugin, right? It was a standalone plugin also. So what I can do, hmm, what we have to do is to bring in Windows, actually. Yeah, I did uh, do uh, quite a lot of uh, experiments before I got this to work. So, <laughs> uh, I'm taking this guy here and I can drop it into here. See, now I have another. <laughs> or I could take this guy here. I could drop it into here. See, it changed. Now it's a different one. And that's how you load them in uh, uh, in in, uh, um, in 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 in, uh, in the banks. Um, but then, what do you do 
will the uh, with, with, with getting the actual uh, banks saved. Here you also have to stay in. The remember, this is a plugin in Elements. I have loaded this into Elements. I'm able to use it in Elements, but it's still also working as a standalone. So now I can go in here and I can say uh, store kit, and I can store it in the same folder where Citala has uh, its two factory kits. That means that I can now save the project with a new kit inside Citala, in this instance of Citala. And when I reopen the project, it's still there. I've also done the five-pointer, so I know that I lost it again, sorry. I also know that these uh, guys here, which are very nice, you can see how the, um, you, you, you can um, shape how the, the sound is going to uh, uh, to be created in, in, in the, the, the plugin. Compression you have, and you have tuning, and you have volume. So five point test has been done for it. These guys are kept and we can with those um, uh, triggery I just showed you, we can create a um, a plugin with uh, samples in these tabs and save it with our project, even though that we have done most of the uh, the footwork we will call it uh, most of, of, of the loading and saving outside elements it's still a plugin in elements I like this little Citada plugin um, it's also a drum pad so <laughs> you could also use it as a, uh, as a drum pad but it can definitely be used as a sampler um, there is a um, there is a uh, uh, setting here that says tuning. Uh, you, you you shouldn't play too much with this tuning. I have tested it. It's not a resampler. Uh, you can hear here. Um, listen to uh, to that guy here. <laughs> same as that but this is 300 cent in tuning different from that one but you will clearly hear that the uh, the speed of uh, the uh, the wave file is different so it's not just the tuning if it was that would be a resampler but it isn't listen <laughs> It's very clear that that's s seriously much faster. So you'll still have to go into Audacity and create um, individual um, files if you're going to set it up as a um, a resampler. Um, and it, it would still be a sampler, simple sampler. Um, because uh, all your 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 files have been made uh, manually, right? So no resampling. Well, but it's a sampler and it works with Windows, and I'm happy because now you can actually do some of the things that has been possible before. Um, it hadn't crashed for me. I had, uh, uh, played around with it for uh, a good hour or so and it doesn't crash. I have saved it and I have uh, changed uh, the, the the tab uh, uh, files over and over and uh, yeah well just see here if it also works with an awk file um, I don't know if it does that well, I can't do that because that's why <coughs> do that, uh, I get that um, because I don't have any embedding flags. 
It looks like I can use flags. I can use flags. So that's okay. Um, what else would we have here? We um, should have a an orc file. Not orc. Instrument groupings, org oh, file. Nah, it's just stupid now. Yeah, also org file. <coughs> so wave, um, flag, and org uh, works. Not DS. Well, DS is also a proprietary. Uh, formats, but all the way, it's fine. Yeah. So that's really uh, Sampler Citala and the possibility to use that in um, in Windows. This is Windows 10 Home, um, but but I'm sure it will work fine in. Uh, any 64 bits window uh, version. So now we have a sampler in uh, Elements. And uh, I'm happy. You know what? That's all I have. Uh, and well, that was pretty interesting. I think at least. <laughs> so um, have fun with this new option in uh, Elements. And um, take care. Bye bye.